So once again, another trigonometric equation where our aim is to solve, uh, first of all, the trig ratio equal to a constant. So uh, this looks very intimidating. It doesn't look really even like nice to do, but it's so easy that you'll actually enjoy doing it. First of all, if, th if this were uh, um, unknown values, like for example, that was a y and that that whole thing was a y, you would have said, well, that's easy. Take all the constants to the one side and all the variables to the other side, okay? I don't like talking like that, but that's probably how you learned it. Um, and that's exactly what I'm going to do. All I'm going to do is, t is make sure that I have the, co uh, the ratios appear on the left or the right, and it's up to you, and the uh, constant values go to the left-hand side, okay? So, or the right-hand side. So, I'm going to take a get rid of the 35 so I'm going to subtract 35 on this side okay but then I must subtract 35 on that side okay and then I want to make sure that all the cause causes are on the left hand side so uh, I already have this one so I have 148 causes on this side and then I've got 278 on that side so I must subtract 278 causes on the right hand side as well as on the left hand side Okay, so I'm subtracting, I had 148, now I'm subtracting 278 of them, and whatever answer I get there is how many causes I am going to have on the left-hand side. Okay, on the right-hand side I had 96 and I subtracted 35, does that give me 61, I think. Okay, so eventually I have that cos of z, okay, is equal to, and now I just divide with whatever this simplifies to. It looks like it simplifies to negative 130. So I've got 61 over negative 130. Okay, and there we go. I've got my cos ratio equal to a constant. And from here on, it's actually very easy. Okay, hopefully by now you think it's easy too. We find our reference angle, in this case using our, our uh, calculator. 130 must have a negative so this is what the ratio simplifies to if I take the inverse cos of that that gives me 117.98 117,98 uh, that's my reference angle for uh, my general solution is therefore either that z is equal to and okay well let's mix it up with some blue here z is equal to my reference angle plus 360 times k, where that represents the number of, uh, what's it called, full rotations I'm adding, okay, and a reference angle having been calculated is this, and you can see that this is a second quadrant angle, okay, and for every 360 degrees I add, I get back into the second quadrant, so this is second quadrant, where cos would be negative, and this was negative, so everything looking good so far. The next for cos, the um, other solution is negative reference angle. In other words, fourth quadrant. Okay. The only problem is, it's not really a problem, but the only thing is here that my angle is actually not, when I make it a negative, it's not fourth quadrant, but actually third quadrant. So negative 117,98 plus 360, that would be third quadrant, which again, it fits everything that it should fit, because we're supposed to be in quadrants where cos is negative, since cos is negative. Okay, I hope that makes sense to you. These are my two general solutions, and that was what I was supposed to do.